any body of water is going to be the best place to find animal tracks. What are these? I don't know what tracks these are. Hold on a second, here we go. I think I got something. Yes. I don't know what this is. These tracks are really intriguing. They look like dinosaur tracks, but of course, I, it's not possible. At least I don't think it's possible. What's going on, Coyote Pack? It is a beautiful autumn day here in Columbus, Ohio, and we're at one of my favorite metro parks, Prairie Oaks. Mario, do you remember the last time we were here? I definitely do, and I was wearing a lot more layers because it was freezing. I definitely appreciate this temperature today. We made a video called Winter Wilderness, a buddy film, so I figured why not make a buddy film sequel where we head back out into the environment to look for mammals. But what's unique about today is we're debuting the Brave Wilderness North American Mammals Adventure Kit. All right, what's in it? Of course, we wanna know what's inside the box, right? So my favorite mammal is the wolverine, and I always wanted a wolverine figurine as a kid. So there you have it. Nice. Absolutely love this guy. Oh man, that Beautiful, is really right? accurate. Absolutely, now give me back that toy. So what else is cool about this kit is it has an animal track plaster kit. Wow, I've actually never used one of these. You've never done this before? No, I'm not. So that's a legit plaster kit. It is. Wow. So what I was thinking we would do today is head back out into the environment and see who can find the coolest mammal tracks and then make plaster casts of them. Now we should rank these tracks on three different levels. Okay. I think uniqueness of species found, mm -hmm. the quality of the actual print as it lies naturally within the environment, and then last but not least, the quality of the cast you pour. Okay, sounds good. Is there a prize at the end? How about the winner gets to take home the toy Wolverine? Nice. Not yet though. First, you've got to find those tracks. Let's give ourselves 30 minutes. You think we can find tracks and pour that cast within 30 minutes? I think so. I think I'm a good tracker. Okay, cool. Well, you have a GoPro. I'll have a GoPro. Let's split up and may the best animal tracker win. Searching for tracks is something that requires your full attention. In most instances, I consider animal tracking an art form. It can be very difficult to find mammals in the wild. Now, what I'm on right here is actually a game trail. So, I followed this a ways, and it heads downhill, and it looks like toward a river. Now, any body of water is going to be the best place to find animal tracks. Where the ground is softer, that's where the animals are gonna leave their impression. So this is not necessarily going to get some prints that well. It's a little too dry, too hard of a surface. Ah, look at this. My first tracks. Those are deer tracks right there. Definitely the hoof from likely a pretty good sized white tailed deer. Now, you may look at a track like this and say, okay, is this the perfect spot to start your cast? Not really. A lot of this substrate is very sandy full of tiny little pebbles. So getting a good impression of that track is not gonna be possible. Not sure how Coyote's doing, but I've got around 15 minutes left before we have to meet back. So I've got to really step it up here. Um, I'll go in that direction. Now this kind of substrate is absolutely perfect. Look at this. These deer tracks here are in good, firm clay. Now these would be the perfect tracks for me to cast, except a white-tailed deer is about the most common animal in this area. And I don't think I'm gonna win the contest by casting tracks of deer. What are these? Look at these tracks. So I moved further inland from the river, hoping that eventually I will find a different body of water, maybe a swamp, maybe a pond. Everything's just so dry right now. This is looking promising up here though. Look at this. Yes, yes. This is my first and most definitive sign. This right there is coyote poop. And from the smell of it, it's fresh. 
Now you may be saying to yourself, coyote, how can you look at animal scat and determine that it's from a coyote? Well, there are no large canine in this area like wolves. This is too big to be a fox. And there are a bunch of little hares and berries also in it. As to which direction this coyote traveled, I'm not sure. But with the river just ahead of us here, I think I'll go back down to the embankment and see if it went down there for a drink. Okay, coyote poop, we are hot and on the stinky track. This is definitely not a mammal. I don't know what tracks these are. Huh. They look very bird-like. Not sure what species this is. There's one, two, three, four, and then it kind of disappears here in the long grass, which of course would make sense. If you're an animal, you're gonna hide in this vegetation. Okay, we've got a down slope over here. Ooh, and it looks like some Looks like a muddy embankment. Okay, let's check this out. This is the best mud I've seen all day. Look at this. It's more mud than there is sand and rocks. No tracks yet though. Well, I don't know what this is. These tracks are really intriguing. They look like dinosaur tracks, but of course I, it's not possible. At least I don't think it's possible. Hold on a second, here we go. I think I got something. Yes, 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 yes. We've got coyote tracks. Wow, okay. That's a coyote track. That's a coyote track. That right there is a great coyote track. Yes! Okay, I have found some tracks in pretty solid mud and with only about three minutes to spare, which means I need to quickly set up my plaster kit and pour that plaster to pull a track. Not exactly the rarest animal in this area, but at this point, I'll take anything I can get. Now, before I cast my track, actually something that I'll do is just use a small piece of wood like this, which is an old tree branch. It's very flat and very smooth. to actually flatten out the earth around the track to make as perfect of a cast as I can. I don't know if Mario's aware of this prep work. All right, so here is the kit. Most important is the instructions. Mixing ratio, two fluid ounces of water for every half cup of plaster mix. So in the kit is a little mixing dish, just like this, and a track ring. Now you wanna place this ring around the track so that you can pour the plaster onto the inside. Now the next step is to actually mix the plaster. A knife with you. I just got my knife. And now I'm going to slowly start pouring that into my mixing container. I'm gonna only put about a quarter of the bag in to start. I'm gonna put about, I'm just gonna put all of it actually. Now next step is to add some water. I'm not sure how to measure out two fluid ounces because we don't have a measuring device. I'm just gonna eyeball it. You don't want the plaster to be too thin and you don't want it to be too thick. Now we also provide you with a stirring stick and you want this to have the consistency of thick glue. So right now, it is way, way, way too watery. So what I'm gonna do is start to add more plaster powder. This needs more water. Oh, this is cool. All right, now we're getting somewhere. This is getting messy really fast. <laughs> this will start to set within just minutes. So you want to move quickly once you start your mixing process. All right. Next step is to pour it in. This is that magic moment and you only get one shot at it. So make sure the plaster is the perfect consistency. Ooh. I always like to start in the front paw pads. Okay, now the track is completely covered, but to make sure that it's all down and in and you don't have any air pockets, I like to use my stir stick to just work the plaster around a little bit and into the track. It's too much water. It's a lot harder than it looks, guys. It's my first time doing this. You wanna pace it out as you're adding more plaster. You don't wanna dump it all on in one fell swoop. Otherwise, it won't dry properly. Take your time, be patient, and with any luck, you will have a perfect animal print cast. All right, well, there you have it. That's my attempt at making a plaster mold of an animal track. 
Okay, my track is completely cast. So at this point, we just need to wait for about two hours. We'll come back and check them and then identify the species. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's go get some lunch. Okay, it has been about two and a half hours since we set our plaster. Yeah. And at this point, it should be dry. I'm a little nervous. Why? Because I don't know if mine set properly. I don't know if I followed the right directions. Well, in all I fairness, it is your first time. And that's what's cool about this experience. And for a lot of people out there watching, it will be their first time at doing a cast of a track. But with any luck, they'll be fantastic. So mm -hmm. let's head back down this way into the wilderness, find our tracks and see if they set. All right. Check this out. What do you think those are? Wow. I have no idea. I mean, uh, my initial instinct would be a turkey, but the toes aren't long enough. I know. mean, I don't know. I'm gonna say you're pulling a fast one on me, but let's check your plaster and see how that is going to okay. turn out. Okay, so. Okay. Now, just almost like a, a sand castle, flip that over and let's see what you have underneath. Wow, oh. okay. I'm gonna give you some credit here. It's looking good. Pour a little bit of water on there. Wow, that Dude, is cool. That looks like a dinosaur that footprint. That looks exactly like a dinosaur footprint. Are you kidding me? That okay. is a great cast right there. So, you see what happened though, is there's a lot of sand yeah. now permanently worked into your cast. You're never gonna gotcha. get all of that out of there. So, let's take this down to the river, okay. rinse it off the rest of the way, and then we'll go check my track. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so my ring Ooh, will completely off. come off because I didn't put the plaster all the way to the edges. Mm. Now here's the tricky part. Because that ground is Ooh, so wet, solid. I don't want the cast to break as I'm bringing it up. So I'm gonna use this stick to dig out around the track and pry it up. There we go. Just like that. And the entire structure of the earth comes up with it. Now inside there should be a perfect coyote track. Oh, it's looking good. This is gonna be great. Just get these outer edges peeled away. Now the next thing I wanna do is rinse it off in the river and see just how perfect it looks. Now when it comes to washing out your cast, one thing you can use is just an old toothbrush to gently finesse out any of the remaining mud and dirt. Okay. And there it is, a perfectly cast coyote track. You can see the toe pads, the heel pad, and even some claw marks. Now, this was your first time out there casting animal tracks in the wild. What did you think? How difficult was this? Well, I wasn't that confident initially because of the mess I made, but after the way my cast actually turned out, it's super easy. If I could do it, you could definitely do it as well. Now remember guys, the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit North American Mammals Edition is available right now. And when it comes to who won the Wolverine figurine, I think it's a tough call. I honestly thought that I was gonna win just because I knew what I was doing, but your track with its uniqueness, and that's a really good cast for a first timer. Well, thank you. It's tough to tell. So what I say we do is leave it up to the Coyote Pack. Okay. Who's gonna win, guys? Is it Coyote with a Coyote track or Mario with the Mystery Animal track? Write in the comments section below and tell us who's gonna win the Wolverine figurine. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Mario Decoe. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, awesome. Let's hike back. If you are looking for a great place to go out and see animals or signs of them in a natural environment, the parks in your area are a sure bet. Winter is coming, so make sure to get outside and enjoy the last warm days of the year. And if you can't find any animal tracks naturally, like Mario, Using one of your favorite toys to create them is a totally acceptable solution. Hey Coyote Pack, if you enjoyed our adventure into the autumn wilderness, make sure to go back and watch our original buddy film, Winter Wilderness, a classic where Mario and I found a feather and a deer antler. Yep, it's a real thriller. And don't forget, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure. Yep. Oh look yeah, wow, look at that. 100%. Oh wow. That is definitely a little mouse tunnel, isn't it? Nice. So basically the rodents 
are underneath the snow. They got these little highways that they create to stay warm and stay hidden from predators. Pretty cool.